What's up everyone? It's your girl Faye. I'm back again kama kawaida to mean as always. Uh, so today we are going to listen to the song uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. Uh, this song is not new to me. I've listened to a live performance of uh, the song. Uh, so I'm here with a studio version with the lyrics on and I'm really excited and looking forward to hear what uh, it sounds like. Uh, so the song is by Blue Oyster Cult. So join me and uh, see you at the end for my comments. And uh, so without further ado, come along. Huh? Don't fear the reaper. And uh, just suppose, and I love the clarity in uh, the instrumentals, like uh, everything is so clear and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I hope you're loving the song and uh, being a second time now listening to the song, it's uh, like uh, the lyrics are hitting deeper. Huh? I'll talk more about it at the end. So let me take it a little bit back so we get into that. Uh, so see you at the end. Huh? <laughs>
so beautiful uh so uh, the song kind of got heavy uh, at some point so let me know what you think of uh, this song in the comment section and uh, how you feel about it <laughs> uh, so as i mentioned uh this is uh, the second time i'm listening to the song the first one was uh, a live performance and now this is a studio version i loved the clarity in uh the instrumentals the vocals and uh the fact that uh, this uh video here had uh, lyrics on so it was easy to follow through and uh besides i had some uh, uh like uh, under an understanding of uh, the lyrics from uh, my previous uh, reaction in case you missed out on uh, the live performance that uh uh, i reacted to and attach it on this video so that uh, you can have a listen and uh, watch it as well it's a good one uh, so i'd love to get deep into the lyrics for this song and uh, try to go through them with you because the, the i think the last time i reacted to uh, the song was uh, almost a year ago uh, so a lot has happened uh, so and i feel like i might have a different uh, understanding of uh, the lyrics and uh, as i said at some point i got kind of emotional so let me just get the lyrics so uh we go through the lyrics uh together uh blue oyster okay yeah i have them here uh so <clears throat> yeah so uh -huh. Yeah, I have the lyrics here, so uh, let me just go through it. Uh, not every verse, but uh, maybe just uh, uh, roughly. We'll start with the first verse. Uh, so all our time have come uh, here, but now they are gone. Uh, seasons don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind, the sun and the rain. Uh, we can be like they are. Uh, in most cases, for sure, we do fear death. Uh, and uh, this verse is just telling us like... Uh, just like uh, seasons uh, don't fear the reaper like uh, uh, we know seasons come and go especially for countries that experience uh, the winter uh, autumn uh, spring and all that like you see how the seasons unravel and uh, pass uh, so the same way like uh, these seasons uh, don't fear we also need to be like them and not uh, fear death because uh, in this case uh, the reaper is uh, death as I uh, as I mentioned in my previous reaction uh, that's how I'm taking it uh, so the second verse uh, come on baby don't fear the reaper uh, baby take my hand so this is the reaper that is asking uh, the person that is alive uh, to come with them so uh, we'll be able to fly don't fear the reaper uh, baby uh, i'm your man so in this case the reaper is coming as uh, your man so let's say this lady is uh, the one that uh, the reaper is coming for and uh, coming as a man and asking you like take my hand don't fear and i uh, will fly so we'll be able to fly for me i feel like uh, the part the flying part here is uh, signifying like uh, i'm giving you another stage in life i'm giving you another form of freedom uh, so we don't know what happens after death but uh, from uh, the song it's uh, putting it as though it's uh, like you are, you are flying away to another world uh, where things are different and uh, better maybe uh, so like uh, death is just making itself uh, like uh, presenting itself to you like uh, you don't have to fear me we'll fly we'll be okay yeah uh, so nothing is gonna happen then there's the mention of uh, valentine is valentine is done uh, here but now they're gone so like the story of uh, romeo and juliet and uh, 
40,000 men and women every day. So the 40,000 men and women die every day. Like people die each and every other day. So we don't need to fear death. Uh, then uh, there's uh, I'll skip all the way to this part that uh, got me a little bit uh, emotional. Uh, so this part that, uh, let me just read it. Uh, so come on, baby. It's actually the last verse. Uh, no, no, the second last verse, uh, it says, uh, uh, actually, let me just read from my uh, love of two is one here, but now they are gone. Uh, came, uh, came the last night of sadness and it was clear she couldn't go on. So I'm taking it, uh, this part of, uh, came the last uh, night of sadness. So maybe the person was sick and, uh, going through something and, uh, she couldn't, uh, keep on like uh, living so and uh death made it clear or rather uh, she she now understood that uh, i can't continue like this i have to go uh so that part of uh and it was clear she couldn't go on so she couldn't go on living and uh had to uh take the hand and uh, go with the reaper uh then that verse uh that follows uh then the door was open and the wind appeared the candles blew and then disappeared the curtains flew and then and then he appeared now death appeared uh saying don't be afraid the last verse come on baby uh and uh, she ran to him they looked backwards and uh, said goodbye uh, so she had uh, taken his hand, come on baby, don't fear the reaper. So that part, uh, now they are flying away and uh, going. Uh, so I think I got a little bit uh, emotional there because um, I recently lost a loved one. And uh, so I was just thinking like, uh, maybe this is what happened. Like, uh, you know, when uh, you lose someone, you really miss them and... Uh, you okay like uh, sometimes you get to a point where you are so angry like why did it have to happen but uh, now looking at the lyrics like uh, from this angle uh, so especially if the person was sick like uh, in my case so i'm i'm thinking like uh, maybe uh, the 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 night of sadness came and uh, uh, she was like okay now I, I need to go and uh, she's happier and uh, wouldn't want us to worry that much right uh, so anyway uh, that is just uh, my thoughts and uh, <laughs> me explaining why I got a little bit emotional there. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching this with me. And uh, in case you've lost a loved one, uh, I think this is a good way of uh, seeing death. Like uh, it's a stage in life that I uh, will all go through at one point or another. And uh, so like uh, taking it as uh, just like the seasons, we don't fear it because uh, we'll go through it also. So just assuming now they are flying up there and uh, living another life so which uh, will be reunited later if uh, that's what happens uh, so yeah that's it for today so thank you for watching this with me always a pleasure and uh, yeah let me know what you think of the song and how you felt uh, listening to it uh, and uh, what emotions uh, did it uh, ignite in you or rather did it uh, evoke so yeah let's have a discussion down in the comment section uh, so i'll end it here this episode is sponsored by michael so mike thank you so much and uh, in case you're new here karibu which is swahili for welcome and uh, do feel right at home don't forget to subscribe just in case you haven't and also consider to turn the notification bell on so that uh, you don't miss out on any episode and uh, to support this channel Kindly check the description below for my PayPal and uh, Patreon details. And you can also have guaranteed requests through either platforms as well. So once again, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. I'm out. So peace out and uh, bye.